Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, welcome. We have a guest today. You can't see him, but my dog is over here itching his face and he's really cute. And he just bumped the tripod, so. I just spit everywhere. That's so yummy. Mm. Today I'm going to be doing my color collection. They're all in this really big bin. I don't know if this specifically was a requested video, but I know people have been wanting like a gear collection, which I will do at some point. I feel like that's going to be a very long video because I have, not including like tails or anything, I have 50 plus pairs of ears and that will take me a long time to get through. So this is just collars. We're going to do installments, I guess. Also, I changed out my, um, nose studded i don't know if you can really see it in the last video but i got my nose pierced it was a couple months ago i don't remember um obviously listen to your piercers don't change your jewelry like just willy-nilly um i've had this pierced since i was 15 and i changed it to a hoop after six weeks which was a bad idea because it still was healing um this one i got a stud and i noticed the stud constantly constantly was turning around in my nose and you know just like poking out so i would have to adjust it and basically shove my finger up my nose to like put it back where it's supposed to be um so i was like fine you know what i'm gonna order a hoop and i ordered two hoops actually this one is the new jewelry this one's the old jewelry that i've had in my face for over five years um i was afraid that they were too small at first but it's the perfect size um and I feel like it'll move around a lot less than my stud was. Anyways, we're not going to talk about This is not about piercings. <laughs> I just changed my jewelry and I thought it was cute. So <laughs> maybe we'll start with the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, this is not the usual collar that you will see me wearing. I normally wear a different one. But this matched my makeup today. This is by Restrained Grace. I'll probably link all the places that I talk about. Um... Just so you can like go and browse and see stuff if they still exist is from restrained grace i believe this is a not like a petite collar but it's a very thin collar and i got this in one of their previous sample sales i believe this was a couple years ago i have a video of me reviewing these and like unboxing them on my channel if you want to go and see that um i got two that are exactly the same. I'll show you that one when we get to it. I believe this cost me around like $35. Because I paid like $70 for two of them. So they were $35 a piece. Um, they're usually a little bit more than that. I think these ones are like $40 or $50 normally. I would say that they're worth it. I have gotten a lot of wear out of this one and the other one that I have. So I feel like if you're looking for like a daytime collar. That's really dainty and cute and can go with like daintier outfits if you're alternative like me and you usually wear like uh, like <laughs> big boots spikes and stuff um these can go well with a lot of like dresses and stuff that don't usually fit into that aesthetic this is the color that i was talking about that i usually wear in most of my pictures most of my videos this is from the kitten collection and it is my collar that my partner my owner uh, got me we got this probably a month or so after we started dating and now we're getting married it's really special to me um i picked out the collar and all the details and stuff and he got the tag made for it he didn't tell me he was getting a tag for it um just says his pet and then on the back it says you are perfect it's a little uh, smudgy because I haven't been able to find my microfiber cloth to clean this with, which don't even get me started on microfiber cloths. Those things are terrible. It's not even a microfiber cloth. It's like a little, it's like what you would clean glasses with, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, I have one for these, but I don't know where it went. I don't know where the tag is from. I could probably dig and find it, but like I said, we got this like a year and a half ago, two years ago. The shop that I like ribbon colors from went out of business like she's she's moved on to other things um so that's that's where these are from so this is the first one that i have and it's just a little black base with some silver ribbon and then some spikes and then the center 
I don't know if you can see that. It's a little upside down triangle and an eyeball. So it's very like Illuminati. Ooh. These are from a shop that no longer exists. I will put the name on the screen. I believe it's the Kitten Couturier. 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 I've never had to pronounce that word in my life. Don't come at me. I bought this one and the other ones that I'm going to show you at some point uh, from someone on Depop that was selling them. They also put little that I can easily lock this one because I hate ribbon ties. Another reason why I don't like ribbon colors. But yeah. So the next one is also from the same shop. Black collar with like red ribbon and these little angel wing accents and a bunch of Swarovski crystals in the middle. I think this is one of my favorites like design wise. It's just really cool. Next up we have this collar. This is from, oh my god the tag is so dirty. <laughs> oh my god this tag is like so fucked up. What happened? Do I just need to like clean it all? So this collar, this is from Ceremony Leather, formerly known as Tigger's Collars. Um, it's just like a turquoisey color and these are blue rivets and then I have a tag on here and it says princess and then on the back it says that is disgusting <laughs> this is a really old tag um it says you will shine i don't know if you can see that it's that is so gross oh my god this is one of the like few not sturdy collars that i will wear for like pup time stuff like that um usually i just wear i wear my kitten collection one most of the time because that's biothane and it's thicker so it can get tugged on a little bit i don't really use these ones for anything other than like cosplay fashion that kind of thing you know i actually don't know where this is from i think this is from another closed down shop but i got this in a bundle on depop and it's just this gold color with a little heart and then some d-rings on here um, I wanted some gold and black collars because my main one that I wear is gold and silver. And if I wear gold jewelry, I feel weird wearing that one. So I was like, I need to get something that are gold and black. So, see, but now I wear my engagement ring all the time. So it's like, I just need everything to be silver. I just need everything to be silver. Sorry. Rose gold is okay, but I'm a silver girly through and through. This is also from that same bundle. Um, this is from another closed down shop. I think it was called like Little Little Bees Boutique or something. I am probably very wrong. I'm just guessing. But another closed down shop. This one just has two little hanging circle rings right here. It's very cute. It like almost doesn't look like a collar. So on days where I'm feeling less confident wearing a collar out perfect wonderful i guess i'll do these two together because they're more like choker kind of things um i have this little clear pvc kind of thing and it just has little gems cute i don't really remember where this came from so cool um and then i got this one fairly recently this is just a little orange biothane collar and this is from dollar tree and it's so cute. Um, I have no idea if you can find these still. I saw it there and I was like, mm, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's like really sturdy and I was just like, it's orange spooky season, you know? And nobody will miss me. Nobody will, nobody will not see me. So this is a collar from Gutterscotch. Honestly, I feel like I would keep it if it didn't have this bow because I just feel like the bow makes it so much like so much more and i'm i'm already a lot um it's just the this like pastel uh purple biothane i love biothane i'm so sad that she stopped making biothane colors um now she makes some variant of like silicone colors but these are just my favorite my favorite like uh era of gutter scotch if you will this one is actually for sale on my depop unless i can figure out a way to take this bow off which i might if i can find my screwdriver and unscrew this we'll see i don't know this collar is from subused original ah uh, listen i was so excited 
when I bought this off of Depop. I bought this in a bundle with the two black and gold colors that I already showed. And it fits me perfectly. And it is the most beautiful color scheme I have ever seen. Like this green, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. I was so scared that it wasn't going to fit, but it is the, I, I asked for the exact measurements because I was like, I need this. Um, 13 and a half inches. Exactly what I would need if I was going to order from this shop on Etsy. So yeah, this was a very uh, exciting Depop find for me. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so incredible. I love it. This is another one that I have for sale on my Depop. I don't really know where this came from. So, it is like a big, a big O-ring right here. And it actually opens like this. And you slide this out and then put it around your neck and just do it up. I might do a project with this if it doesn't sell. I might put some like spikes or something on it. I don't know. We'll see. It's very cute. I just don't wear a lot of white. This is from the Kitten Couturier, Couturier, Couturier. But this is just like a little Swarovski uh, collar. I have, again, little, little jump rings to lock it um, because it's slightly too small for my neck. A lot of places make like 12 inch things, 12 and a half inch things. I don't know how long this is, I just know two jump rings and a lock, it fits me perfectly, so. Alright, next, these bitches from Ceremony Leather. This is, I don't know if this was a special edition or not. I got most of these secondhand. I think the only one that I bought directly from Ceremony Leather was the pink one. I think this one might be a blue AB one. I'm not sure but this is a blue one they're all just uh, buckles in the back this is actually a special edition I don't know what this was called but it is basically where all the gems like reflect uh, blue red yellow orange all of that this is like one of my favorite colors honestly it's so stunning it is so beautiful then it has the little charm in the front this one is my black one those are all fake leather this one is the only one that i have that is real leather um because it's black and i got a really good deal on it i got this one on depop and it has the three ring add-on in the back but it's also super cute. Um, I think I got it for like less than $30, which is like, that is a steal. Um, for reference, I paid about 60 for this one back in the day. Um, I don't know how much they run now. Um, just because I have so many collars that I haven't really looked. Um, although if they come out with another limited edition crystal one. I know Swarovski stopped supplying small businesses with crystals. Like they stopped mass producing them for um people to like use and sell on their own. Um but if they make like some kind of crystal collar again with like a cool shift to it, count me in. Also if you have a scarlet collar from back in the day and you're looking to get rid of it Hit me up. I don't care what size it is. If I have to punch holes in it, I will. I want one. So bad. That is like the only one that I need for my collection. <laughs> Other than the purple one, but I'm not a big like purple gal. So, um, I like this color purple. I don't really like the dark purples. This is a really, really beat up, uh, Kitten Couturier. I'm not gonna try and say it anymore. Um, this is really beat up. One of the gems actually fell off and I am thinking about just like cleaning this up and replacing all of the gems on it. Um, just because I really like dainty collars and this does mean a lot to me. It's very cute. Um, and yeah. I think I also bought this second hand and it was already kind of beat up. Then I wore it to death even more. So, B. 
other restrained grace collar this is one of my favorites it is a baby pink and rose gold combo same as the purple one i think this one might be slightly smaller or bigger i don't know one of them one of them is slightly smaller mm, the back is tarnishing and that's not fun um this does happen with coated metal sometimes but that's weird i didn't notice that at all but still one of my favorite collars i spent like 35 dollars on it so i'm not too mad about the tarnishing um not sure if they've changed their like manufacturing kind of thing over the years it might be better now i don't know you can always ask them about that too um okay so now i have three gutter scotch collars left um these are my bigger chunkier collars that I don't wear that often but they are some of my cherished like I fucking love them this is my Beetlejuice gutter scotch collar it's amazing I wore this in my Halloween set I put, put, put a little picture um I have Hoshikin's ears that match this perfectly and I also have Mimi Mitsune ears that match this perfectly too. They're just a floppy puppy version. Stunning. Stunning. And then the back buckle and the little D rings are white and black. I have like two or three pairs of ears that match this. No. I have one pair that matches this perfectly. And then I have a couple other pairs that go with it now. But this is the little ice cream cone collar. I have a pair of ears from fairy fairy shop that are literally an ice cream cone perfect perfect amazing all right and then this last one is a big bitch and she is a kind of a tedious bitch um powder coating can get kind of weird if it's in like warmth for too long um so if it's in storage and it's summertime it can get kind of funky so that's why there's fuzzies all over it. This is the heaviest color I own, but it is really pretty. It's really beautiful. Um, I have the powder to touch this up from the previous owner. Um, she actually got it kind of like damaged or whatever. And then she reached out to the owner of the shop and she sent the pigment, uh, the glitter pigment that she used on the spikes and stuff. I wear it on select occasions. It is just quite heavy and I I have a really hurdy body anyways, so I don't really need a lot of weight on me at all times, but this is so pretty. I just, and it goes so good with my like aesthetic and my style. So I'm like, mm. I think that is all my collars. I might have a couple more floating around my house. This is just the ones that were in my storage, like, put away, and that I could find on, like, my, my desk and stuff. I will link all of the shops that I can down below, okay, like, the ones that still exist. Um, other than that, I like looking on Depop for a lot of colors. It's, there's a lot on there. It's a good time. If you guys have any other video requests that you would like to see, other than, like, my big gear collection, like, my whole collection, um... Let me know in the comments because I am working on a gear collection. I'll eventually do it. I just feel like that video is going to be at least 30 minutes long. Maybe 40 when I edit it all down. So, um, be prepared. Oh, also, give me Valentine's Day video ideas. I really want to do like a cute themed video, but I'm not sure what. All of my social media links are in the description box down below, including like my Instagram, my Twitter, my VIPs, everything. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. I'm going to try and put in a lot more effort into my channel than I have in the past year or so because YouTube has always been a very big like passion of mine since I was young and now that I am focusing on myself and my mental health and my physical health um I have a little bit more time to do the things that I enjoy doing so I'm trying to prioritize YouTube a little bit more as you can tell but yeah I don't know what else to say I love you guys I will see you in my next video
Bye.